Okay, here are the steps to uploading a document into Blackboard. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my control panel so I know exactly where I can place my document. And I want to put this into week one. So I click my content area, click one. And I'm adding an item. Um, if I had multiple documents, I would do a folder, an external link if it was just a hot link somewhere else. If I was adding an assignment that I wanted students to upload documents to afterwards, I would come over here and click assignment. But this is just going to be an item. Now, do I want it to be on this page? No, I want it to be inside my weekly docs because this will be their breakout. So I go inside this folder. This is where I want this document to live. And since it's just a document for them to read, to download and read, it's going to be an item. So I click item, and I give it a name, whatever it is, week one. And then just a little bit to tell my students exactly what they're supposed to do. Please download and read this doc carefully. Okay. Now I could get all fancy. I could bold it, whatever I want, but there's no point in that. So the next thing I need to do is actually upload the document to Blackboard so my students then can download it. I'm giving them the content. I'm going to attach a local file because it's on my computer. So just like when I attach something to my email, I click browse and then I need to find it on my computer. Mine is already sitting here on my desktop. It's this week one PDF and I can see just by double clicking on it, it's been selected. There it is. And now I need to scroll down and I don't need to mess with anything else here. I don't need to link to content item. That's something else. I don't need to give it a special name. And the special action is create a link to this file. That means automatically my students will be able to access it. Now there's other things I could do. I could display the media within the page, which means my students will see it. But this is kind of a big thing. It'll take up a whole page. I'd rather they download it and look at it. So I leave it at create a link to this file. I don't need to mess with this. And I really don't need to mess with the options because the defaults are pretty basic. And I click submit. And it should tell me, yep, it's been added. And anything you add always goes to the bottom of the list. So I scroll down to whatever's already in there. And there it is, week one, EDUU 609, week one PDF. And just to double check, I'm going to go back to my front page and go into week one, go into weekly docs, make sure it's there. Should be down at the bottom. There it is. And when you click on it, it should download. And I just got the message that it did download. And I open up my, the way I have my computer set up, I have a download file. And there it is. So that is how you upload a document to Blackboard. You go in through Control Panel. You decide what content area you want it to be in. You select it where in that content area you want to put it and then you add an item because remember they're not uploading anything they're just downloading you give it a name you type a couple of instructions and then just like an email you browse you select what it is that you want the students to be able to read and then you click submit Oh, it needs a name. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there's my name. Okay. Click Submit, and it should be there for the students to download. And I scroll down, and there it is. D-H-S-J-A-K-D, blah, 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 ready for downloading. So that's how you do it. Go slowly and methodically through it, but think of it just like attaching something to an email. You have to upload so that your students are then able to download.